Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President here at Aspire Technologies. This video will go over how to take advantage of the new heading line feature we added in QuiltWorks version 4.6 on the layout. Uh, we have a more in-depth video reviewing how to use the feature already on our YouTube channel. Uh, but just so you know, um, what the heading line feature allows you to do is like when you're searching for a product, for instance, um, maybe we're looking for a remote. We'll go ahead and find that. Um, now using the Add Item Assistant, we can select what heading to insert or append the item under. As you can see, it, it inserted it under Remote here. And you'll see that the Remotes is a heading line, TVs is a heading line, and Speakers is also a heading line. Um, so the question has come up, how to actually customize the layout uh, to make the, the heading lines look different than regular lines. Um, as you can see, we've got our TVs here, our remotes, and you know they really it really isn't breaking it apart uh, the way you'd probably expect it to. So what I like to do, if I go ahead and edit this layout, is, uh, is create multiple detail sections to break things apart. Uh, you can also do this with um, uh, with conditional fonts, but you know, working with uh, the multiple detail sections, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a detail section. Now your layout may look a little bit different than this, uh, but the concept is going to be the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is click on the section button here and click on detail section four, or just the next detail section um, in sequence. And what the detail sections are is basically where the line item details will be printed on the quote. So, or how it will be displayed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the description field. So I'm going to go ahead and go to insert and data field and pull that from the, t the table, which is document items. And we'll scroll down for description here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put this here. And I'm going to make it so that the header line description goes all the way across because really we're not going to have any price information. We're not going to have any pictures or anything like that. This is just a heading line. And then I'm also going to insert a line across there to kind of break things apart. And I've actually got one here. Uh, let's go ahead and just draw a new one though. Let's go and draw that all the way across. And we can double click on that and change the color to one that we've already got in the quote there. And then we'll just go ahead and break this up. Now, what we can do is actually change maybe the color, the bold, the italics, whatever we want now um, on that field. And I'll just go ahead and go up to font, bold, and maybe make it just a little bit bigger. Click on that. OK, so let's go ahead and save and preview. And you're going to notice that it doesn't look quite right because I haven't actually filtered out the section yet. So it's just going to keep repeating for each one. So what I'm going to do is filter the detail sections. Okay, um, and this will make more sense here momentarily. So detail section four, this is my heading line. So I'm going to go ahead and click on filter and go dot if dot. So this is basically going to be an if statement line type because the line type is a, uh, a heading line equals 256. Okay, so that's basically what the line type code is for uh, for a heading line. And all of the line types are available in, in our, our user manual under help uh, view manual uh, in Appendix B, I believe. And if you have questions on any of this, you can always call our technical support. OK, so let's take a look at what the filter is in detail section 3. So let's right click on that and select filter. And this has got a lot in this. Um, so what we're going to do as well is go ahead and add one more statement here so it's dot and dot data field line type and this time it's going to be not equal to that's less than greater than 256 okay do okay and detail section two we don't have to do anything about because it's only going to print on the line break so that's fine but detail section one if we look at the filter again a lot in here uh, it's not yours isn't necessarily going to be this um, this in depth, but you know, obviously, um, you know, depending on how many sections are on your layout, you might have more or less. So we'll do it and data field line type again, not equal to 256. Click on OK, and let's save and preview this time. And now we've got our TVs with all our TVs underneath it, our remotes with the remotes underneath that, and then our speaker uh, with the speaker underneath that as well with the grand total. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to work with. Um, you know, if I close out of this, uh, we can take a look at another layout, and we'll go ahead and preview this one. Um, 
it's going to look very similar. But if we look at the guts underneath it, and if I click on edit, you'll see that there's a lot more sections here. So no matter how complex or, or simple the layout is, you can take advantage of the multiple detail sections. And if you have any questions on how to do this, you can always contact our technical support, just support at quoteworks.com, um, or uh, give them a call at 407-248-1481. We're easy to get a hold of. Um, and uh, as you can see, you can really uh, take full advantage of uh, the layout designer, and that way things will automatically get bolded or unbolded. Uh, you can do different colors and whatnot automatically for you. So again, uh, I hope this answers uh, your questions on how to customize the layout to take advantage of the heading line. Again, the line type for the heading line is uh, 256, um, and that's how you filter with that. So again, uh, thank you very much, and have a great day.